Dr. Lynn Lavallee was hired in September 2017. Now, just over a year later, she's quitting. She says the administration at the University of Manitoba is not doing enough to combat systemic racism against Indigenous peoples. I think that we have to look beyond the structures in the academy. So if there's a complaint about racism or harassment, it's a complaint-driven process at any institution. And as soon as you go through that complaint-driven process, it becomes silenced. Confidentiality steps in and we isolate someone. She says that isolation can be so bad, many Indigenous students are afraid to come forward. In an email statement to APTN, the university says they will keep trying to work together with Indigenous peoples. Fulfilling the strategic plan commitments can be challenging, just as implementing the action items outlined in the Truth and Reconciliation Commission will not always be easy for this nation, but resolving to persist in this pursuit is critically important. We have to acknowledge that these are colonial institutions, and that's what we're up against. Lavallee says this issue isn't isolated. It's happening in post-secondary institutions across Canada. Something needs to change. We recognize that these are colonial institutions that are full of bureaucracy, but we can make change. We can make change at Board of Governors and Senate. I've made policy changes at Senate, at other, at other institutions. It can happen, and it can happen quickly if you have the motivation and if you have the will and if you have the right people at the table. It can happen. Dr. Lavallee leaves the U of M December 31st. She steps into her new role as an advisor to the Dean of Community Services at Toronto's Ryerson University in the new year. Ashley Branson, APTN National News, Winnipeg.